Hello, just Scott here with a quick intro. This is I Sex Six Heart Cinema episode 5.5. If you haven't listened to episode 5 yet, you're bad at YouTube or downloading because that's the first part of this episode. And if you listen to this first, you're not going to know what we're talking about. So go listen to episode 5 and then come on back here for episode 5.5. <laughs> So now you guys play games to decide who gets to go first in line. Yeah, we were going to play... I wouldn't mind doing movie cats. Movie cats. No! What? Film kitties! Film kitties, I'm sorry. God! <laughs> Let's try and be a little original. <laughs> Alright, so a game of film kitties, and because Drew just lost, he can go first. Consolate. Charity. Dan charity. is a man of charity. Uh, okay. So, easy one? Yeah. Departed. Jack Nicholson. As good as it gets. Cuba Gooding Jr. Oh, Cuba. Uh, Jerry Maguire. Renee Zellweger. Zellweger. What the fuck ever. <laughs> Bridget Jones' diary. <laughs> Hugh Grant. Oh, Jesus. Have you heard about the Morgans? <laughs> Did you hear about the Morgans? <laughs> Shit. I don't know what you want it is. <laughs> Did you? Did you? Did you hear about the Morgans? Dan, look it up. <laughs> Do I lose regardless? <laughs> it just did. He did say have. You said have? I did say have first. You're fucking out. Yeah. <laughs> are we still, are we doing best of three still? Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's your turn. <laughs> um, Harrison Ford. I think you're starting with movie. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Uh, Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Fuck you. Shia LaBeouf. I'm mad, I'm mad that I had to say that. I watched 15 minutes of that movie. It was on Showcase. It's got awful. And it's weird. Like, it's there was a fight scene in a crypt that I watched <laughs> that was like straight out of a music video in the 80s. <laughs> the, it's like, as far as like big time movies, it's one of the worst endings you'll come across. Yep, for sure. It's pretty fucking bad. Sure. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say Eagle Eye. Gah. Challenge. Michelle Moynihan. Wouldn't have gotten that. <laughs> Uh, so we're tied. Peter Dinklage. Tiptoes. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> 2004. <laughs> That's all I need to say. All about Steve. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> take it back, take it back, take it back. You were thinking of Bradley Cooper. Uh, 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 never happened, take it back. The, the fucking other one, the, uh, 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 I know what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, go- it's coming. Um, How do we uh, Bill- Bill are going to launch. They're going to launch. Well, too late. You already <laughs> launched. <laughs> <laughs> so Drew gets to go first. This is bullshit. <laughs> first time I've ever hosted this. Uh, I was in just the thinking, history of ever. I was just thinking bad rom com. It's got a Matthew kind of but No, it's was Brad Cooper. It, the Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. That yeah, was, he's Matt. Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. Tools Gold was that? Tools one? Gold, yeah. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I really had a lot to work with and I blew it. Lincoln Lawyer. Contact. <laughs> Contact. Contact High. <laughs> Alright. So, explain, because you have a gimmick. I have a gimmick. And this will be my gimmick from now on unless I never ever appear in one of these again, then. Unless you're asked to leave. <laughs> yes. So, um, my gimmick is that all my categories are the names of songs off of one particular album. And I'm waiting for Judy L. Nerd. I, when, why didn't it come? <laughs> because, <laughs> I respect his creativity. Because when it comes down to it, I'm really not that much of a film guy anymore. I was when I was like 18, 19, but now I spend way too much time uh, when it comes to music. Daniel, I respect your creativity. Thank you. As opposed to ripping off other things. This is not how I thought this would go. <laughs> so... The first three we're going to start with. Uh, Do we get to know the album? Or will we know uh, by the time It's going to be the really thing? obvious after the first one. The first category is Thriller. <laughs> <laughs> first category is Born in the USA, <laughs> yeah. which is uh, movies that are about uh, famous, or should I say infamous, American um, artists, be them filmmakers, artists, journalists, musicians. We're, we're talking biopics? Um, not necessarily, but but they're they're about they they, 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 they are real, the primary character, and they're like a real person from history. A real person, okay. yes. Gotcha. Okay. 
There is Bobby Jean, which are films that were produced by Robert Evans. <laughs> <laughs> or or made when he was head of production at Paramount Pictures. I'm Robin Evans. <laughs> and, of course, the incredibly sad, depressing closer to that classic Bruce Springsteen album from 1984, Born in the USA, My Hometown, hmm. which are movies that have a famous city in the title. So. Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to go with movies set in Vancouver, because there are not they, a lot. No, uh, There's well, a million films in Vancouver, in Vancouver. Well, TV shows. Well, they, they all take place in yeah. Boston and Seattle yeah. and L.A. Yeah. And <laughs> New York. Rumble New in the York, Bronx. Rumble in the Bronx with the mountains in the background. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, Drew, you get to choose first. Born in the USA, Bobby Jean, or My Hometown? Uh, I'm going to go... I'll say my hometown. My hometown. My hometown. Okay, I'm going to give you four to choose from. Um, that's all I've got. So, <laughs> um, 2006, 1993, 1998, and if you go with this one, I'll be incredibly impressed. 1953. <laughs> I'm not going that deep. 1998. 1998. Mm-hmm. 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 Should have gone with that. 93. I think Should I should have grown some fucking balls and gone 53. Scott, how many movies have I seen before 1970? Two? How many have I seen before 1960? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> okay. Wizard of Oz, when was that? 39. seen that. There you go. Okay. Uh, so, 1998... My hometown. Uh, Leonard gives it a bomb. Oh my. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. So, uh, it's an adaptation of a book from the 70s, uh, which Leonard describes as being excruciating. Okay. Uh, film is monotonous, painfully long. Uh, uh, filled with close ups of. Uh, kind of unpleasant things with camera movements at any and every opportunity. Uh, uh, Fans of the original novel may find some value. Others will not. And a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 names. That's a lot. People. 98, you said? 98. Bomb. Uh, so, starting with Drew? Yes. yes. I'll say 16. 15. 14. 13. 12. Oh, how many? 19? 16. 16. Oh, 16. 11. Name it. Okay. So you get the bottom 11. Everything but the top 5. I... Well, there's some names in here. There's some... Actually, there's some big names in here. Alright. Uh, Ellen Barkin. Mm-hmm. Harry Dean Stanton, yep. Michael Jeter, Christina Ricci, Gary Busey, Flea, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. There you go. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> that would be one to Gave start. it a bomb. Gave it a bomb. I remember liking it, but maybe I'm dumb. I hate it. I haven't seen it in a while, but I, I liked it. it in when I see it. So probably 2003 or four. I hate it. Liked it then. Okay, so revisiting apparently points to Scott, so he gets Drew to choose yeah. again. Okay, so we have uh, Working on the Highway, which are road trip movies. We have Cover Me, which are movies that feature famous covers on the soundtrack. <laughs> I like that. And we will go with Bobby Jean again, which are films produced by Robert Evans. Legendary producer Robert Evans. Let's go road trip movies. Okay, working on the highway. You have 2004, 2006, and 2007. Let's go 06. 06. Okay. I should be quicker on this. It's okay. You're you're learning. You're in the developmental stages. Okay, 2006. Working on the highway. Road trip movies. Leonard gives it three and a half stars. That's pretty good. Hi. That is pretty good. Uh, let's see. 
That's a winning comedy drama about a seriously off-kilter family. Uh, uh, eventful road trip. Uh, uh, impressive debut feature from the director. Uh, and also a first-time screenwriter. Uh, cast simply could not be better. And we are looking at 12 names. Zero names. Minus one. Oh, fuck you. you can do Minus three. two. You can do three. I don't... I don't so trust... The order's going to get tricky here. But I don't trust myself and Leonard enough to do minus three, so... Fuck Leonard. Seriously, so much. I'm going to make Drew do minus two. Okay. Don't tell him anything until he has said everything. Yep. It's a little with sunshine. And I'm gonna say... Now, without, without saying my answer, it's tough, because sometimes Leonard goes by... He doesn't always go by who is the most important character in the movie. He goes by who is the most... The biggest actor. It, but it's like it's like actor, but compared to their role in the movie. Yeah. Right. Like if they're a big name actor, but they only have two minutes of screen time, they're not high. But if they have twenty minutes. But they, yeah, like he sometimes mixes it up. So. Fuck. I want to so, say and somehow. Sometimes it's how the studio wants it built, and he just copies that. Yeah. Because uh, like like the best example is uh, Marlon Brando getting top in Superman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though he was, it was like five minutes screen time, and yeah. he dies. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm pro I'm definitely wrong, but Abigail I'm, I'm counting on it. Abigail Breslin, Greg Kinnear. Wouldn't have gone with the girl first. I'd have gone Kinnear first. Yep. Yeah, what would you have gone second? Uh, I think you might throw Alan Arkin second. You both would have been wrong. <laughs> Steve Carell. No, Greg, Greg Kinnear, Tony Collette. Uh, Steve Carell, Alan so. Arkin, Abigail Breslin. <laughs> Well, I, I, I went with she's the main focus of the movie. Yeah, no, it's she was. But that was like a, that she was like, an unknown though. That was like a yeah, first, first movie. movie. Yeah. Fuck. So that is a point to Scott, right? Yes. Sweet, sweet, At least sweet. I knew sweet. what the movie was. So did I. And I, and, I, and I knew you didn't know minus two. <laughs> yeah, fuck. At minus three, I would have gone. Okay. Yeah. And I'm getting cold. I'd be um, I'd be torn between Arkin and Carell. So we are going to go. Uh, for our third round, uh, Born in the USA. Wait, it goes to me again, right? Uh, it does go to Drew again. It goes to me. No, you, because you told me name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sorry. Holy fuck, I gotta stop shivering. <laughs> would you like a hoodie or something? That would be cool. Uh, Born in the USA, uh, Bobby Jean, or Cover Me. I'll go Born in the US of A. Okay. Got three for you to choose from. So, are these the the focus of the movie? Is this is this person? The, the, the title of the movies aren't necessarily the yeah, names. but the, but the focus of the movie. Yes. Okay. For sure. And some of them are biopics. Some not so much. Okay. Would you like 1994, 19? Oh no, 1994, 2003, or 2005? Hmm. Let's go. Oh three. Okay. There's a domestic dispute going on in my street. <laughs> I can hear it. Why should tonight be any different than any other <laughs> night? Okay. I live in Compton. <laughs> uh, three and a half stars. Okay. Sorry, I meant, what year? I uh, 2003, 2003, born in the born USA. USA. Three and a half stars. Uh, innovative film. Uh... I don't know if this gives away too much if I tell you that. Yeah, there's some things when I give it, I'm like, is this just enough or too much? Well, something that there's, you know... I bet this doesn't it's, give it's away too much. It's uh, It takes place in Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. The filmmakers, sort of the style of the film is shot in... Uh, it's fresh and constantly surprising. Um, the main character is perfect as the... Uh, sorry. The, the main actor is, is perfect in the role as, uh, as whatever character. As the main character. 
uh, written by the director. Hmm. Three and a half stars, 2003, seven names. Uh, I'm not super sure about any of this, so I'm going to go seven. I will go six. Five. I'm going to say you're not going to get the stars, so name it. For the win. You're definitely F- not going to get the star. FT dub. The, the star, I think, would... Give it away? Would give it away, probably. Um, I don't know if you've seen this movie or not. Um, there is some names in here, you know, for sure. Uh, so five, right? Yeah, five of If seven. I get one name, I'm going to lose my shit. Uh, so Molly Shannon. Uh, Denal Log. Denal Log. L O G U E. No, no help. <laughs> Donald Logue. Donald Logue, yeah. Earl Billings. James Urbaniak. Voice of Dr. Venture and the Venture Brothers. Oh. And Judah Friedlander. Woof. 2003, what the hell was Friedlander doing in 2003? Probably wearing an ironic hat. With stupid sideways. <laughs> Chops. <sighs> and who was the star? <laughs> Who was the director? Almost got him. <laughs> Shit. Trying to break in that, that rookie? Yeah. Who do you want to do? Fuck, fuck, fuck. James Urbaniak. Judah Friedlander. What are these people doing in a movie? I don't know if you've seen this movie, but... Uh, I'm sure I've heard of it. You definitely have heard of it, and three and a half stars. Molly Shannon, lowest build, and three and a half stars. So that's that's, that's been really good. Very good movie. Oh three, fuck me. I think it, even though I don't know if it's a biopic, I'm trying to run through them in the O three range. But uh, American artist, <sighs> I think uh, I got nothing, unfortunately. Okay. Read the rest of the, the remaining two are, are Hope Davis and Paula Giamatti. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have got it until Paul Giamatti. American Splendor. It's American Splendor. And I have Splendor. seen it, and it's really good. Yes. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Well, you got a point for it, Drew. You should see it. Hmm? Who's Giamatti boy? Uh, like a graphic novel artist. His name is Harvey Picard. And he actually just died last year. I think, yeah, I think I heard that. Oh, sweet. But he wrote a comic book also called American Splendor, which ran for about 30 Long years. Time, yeah. yeah. And, uh, the, what was I going to say? Uh, the filmmakers managed to use uh, footage of Picar, who's actually in the movie and kind of narrates it. Yeah. Uh, and his actual friends and family, and then mix it with the dramatized kind oh, okay. of versions. That's, That's kind of cool. cool. It's yeah. very innovative host on that. Yeah, it was good. So it is now two to one. Shit! I was like, that was sweet. So, <laughs> Drew... I'm like, I'm still going to win, but it's like, it's Drew told... You name right? Drew picks. Okay, Drew picks. That was sweet for you. So, <laughs> Drew, we <laughs> have... Like Cover Me, which uh, movies with Fantastic. cover songs in the soundtrack. Bobby Jean, songs, uh, movies produced by Robert Evans. And we will go My Hometown. Uh, let's try Cover Me. Okay, cover me. Famous covers. There are, there are uh, uh, fairly famous uh, covers in the soundtrack uh, of, his, of these movies. So, do you want... I'll give you uh, four options. Okay. In chronological order. Reverse chronological order. <laughs> 2011. 1998. 1996. Or 1978. You know what? It, it's tough when you get categories, and you hear a year, and you automatically get one movie in I your have, head. I, ha- I have one and, picks for one of those years. And that's the only answer you have, no yeah. matter what you hear, and I'm going to go with my stupid gut on this Please one. Please be the year I want. And 1996. <laughs> Mine's 98. 1996. Mm-hmm. Okay, you have 1998. You both might have them, but anyway, we're going to 96. Okay, I can only imagine... Oh, oh no! I think I'm, I'm think I'm thinking of '98 now. You get <laughs> whatever. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. It may be entirely different, but it'd be awesome if it's the same one. <laughs> okay, 1996. 
Oh, I know what the 98 one is now. Damn it. I got a pretty good idea about 98. Two and a half stars for 96. Uh, da, da, da. Can't. Can't give it away. Um, no, I'm getting cold. Shut up. Um, I have no more hoodies. Yeah, Denver! <laughs> It had to happen. It had to happen. Oh, shit. We went an hour and a half without me yelling at Denver. there's non-plot stuff at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, this... It's usually review at the top. That all gives it away, though. Oh, shit. Well, if you can't say much, can't say much. It's a... Or you can read the whole thing and we can start at zero. It's a comedy. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh... Uh... uh it's based on uh, a television show. Um, and is true to itself, and certain to please fans of the show. Okay. Um, there are some famous people who contribute unbilled voices. <laughs> Alright. Um, if I say this other thing, I think it gives it away. I don't know if this is fair or not, if, I, if that's enough. Your, your discretion. Yeah, that's really up to you. I think these other things will give it away too much. So I will say one other thing, but then I will require a hand drop. The song <laughs> in question to be named as well. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Uh it is animated. Yeah, I kinda got that when you said voices. Yeah, from voices. Uh okay. Well then you don't have to name the song. But if you name the song I'll be impressed. Mm -hmm. Nineteen ninety six, only five names. Oh wow. Interesting. 96, five names. Uh, one of the names will definitely give it away. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Animated comedy, 96. Five names, two and a half stars. Oh my god, I have it. And who picked the I, I said. I'll, I'll, I'll say five, but Scott's going to say negative, so, or zero. I'm going to say zero. Go, go big or go home. If you ne negative one is definitely doable if you know what I, what it is. Animated ninety six. Oh, now I'm doubting. Now I'm filled with doubt. I'm <laughs> so worried now. Fuck. Let's <laughs> just see what you think ninety eight is. Well, this movie no, is not what well, I thought it was. Don't. Drew and I will say to each other what we thought 98 was, but... Yeah, don't, you don't have to tell us. Don't tell us if it's right, because you can well, say that. Well, once the game is over, or the day is over, we it's can guess, because that that's the other part of my gimmick. Li limited, limited edition releases... Oh, that's right, I forgot your limited edition Oh, releases. so you're going to do a new... A new, new, new album every time I play, oh, okay, so I like all that. these will be done... I do like the gimmick. After, after today so, is so over. So we can guess the gimmick. So absolutely. Well, once the game is over, yeah, so yeah, might come back up yeah, again. Yeah, later. Sure. But anyway. All right, well... well I'm going to win right now, so that's fine. I cannot think of... To save my life, I cannot think of a 96 animated movie that has a cover song. I can think of 96 animated movies, but I cannot imagine a cover song in it. And you said you sort of have doubts now. <laughs> I do. I have strong. But you might also know it. I might also know it. But I cannot do a negative one. I can't do it in zero, I don't think. So you have to name it, obviously. I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. I'm just going to tell you the song, and then we'll know if I'm right or not. So do I tell you if you're right after the song? I think so. It's a specific song. Okay. Love Roller Coaster by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Fuck yeah, Beavis and Butthead do America. Yep. Oh, never actually seen Beavis and Butthead do America. I never watched the show. Never. I love the movie. Oh, I've never seen it. The movie's very good. I love the movie. The movie's very, very good. I haven't seen it in, oh, well over ten years. I but Last time I saw it I remember it was, renting it a bunch. Oh, I rented it the day it came out on <laughs> video, and that yeah. is the last time I saw it. And I actually remember the day after it came out, so it came out on a Tuesday... Yeah. So Wednesday, my grade seven class was taking a field trip. Uh, me and my friend, my best friend, skipped the field trip so we could rent the movie on the Tuesday night and stay up late watching the movie and didn't go to school the next day. Wow. Nice. So I'm guessing you were fans of the show. Um, yeah, because we were into the music yeah. that, they, that they played. So yeah, like I literally never watched the show, but I'm like, I, I guess it was just something to rent one day, and I'm like, oh, this is awesome. Top build is Mike Judge. Yes. So. <laughs> 
So, uh, Scooter for the win. Yep, 3-1. Great. 1998. Drew, what is your song from 1998? I, no, I lost it now. I don't, I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> is the song, Don't You Want Somebody to Love, covered by Jim Carrey? No. Oh, oh is the song, the okay. If You Could Read My Mind, by... Start on 54? Yeah. Fuck you. No. <laughs> That's a cover. That's I'm a cover of a good song. I, I'm a huge Gordon Lightfoot fan. Reckon, I I know no, man, as a Gordon Lightfoot fan, listen to episode four, but only the parts where we talk about Gordon Lightfoot and not the parts where Drew talks shit about you. <laughs> <laughs> For liking Gordon Lightfoot? No. no just, separately. Just for the sake of you just be very selective there. in your listening. Like, we'll listen to it, and then like we'll tell you the times you should listen to, and the times to avoid. <laughs> Okay. Uh, we also, it's not fair. I also should talk Kelly once he leaves. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so I'm done. If you're I not get... here, you're getting shit talked. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah. So I'm, I'm done as far as... Chewy and his squinty eyes. <laughs> as, as, these, as far as these categories go. Oh, yeah. The ca- yeah. We're, we're through. Okay. Yeah. Well, the other the other cover songs. 1998 was Take On Me by Real Big Fish. Ah, basketball. Basketball. From Basketball. Uh... Nineteen seventy eight is Louie Louie by the Kingsman. Uh what's the seventy eight Louie Louie? Which is a famous old blues song, of course. Yeah. Pretty famous scene of a house party where the song is sung. Is it Animal House? It is Animal House. I've never actually seen that. Me neither. And two thousand eleven is Immigrant Song, originally done by Led Zeppelin, that covered by Karen O of the Yeah Yeah Yeahs. Fucking uh, girl with dragon tattoo. Girl with the dragon tattoo. Shit. There you go. Good stuff. Not as good as the Swedish one. And the film from 1953 was Tokyo Story by Ozu. I suggest you all go and see it. Oh, that's what my that my really a tough one. my Criterion Collection DVD of that. <laughs> was sold, unfortunately, when I was unemployed and needed money. <laughs> and Criterion Collection DVDs fetch a lot of money, so I managed to get $50 for it. Not bad. I was also thinking of... That, nev- uh, that never would have gotten, been gone, for the record. I was also good. thinking of Lost Highway. Isn't there a very famous cover on Lost Highway soundtrack? Probably. I saw that There was also one on The Faculty, I believe. There's a cover of uh, Pink Floyd, Maybe. Another Brick in the Wall, and it's got, like, it's like one of those super groups of, like... I think there's, like, Jerry Cantrell and uh, whoever the hell the bassist was for Nirvana. <laughs> Chris Novoselic. That's one, yeah. And it's it's definitely, like, yeah, I think it's one of those on faculty. I'm upset that no one went for Robert Evans, even though the the, the most recent film was 1980. I don't know well, who that is. It's not like he's done a ton. Though. They are all films you are all well aware of. So. Yeah. Like, uh, what do we got, like, Chinatown? We got The Godfather. Yeah. We have Chinatown. We have Urban Cowboy. Oh. And we have, surprise, surprise, Popeye, which he produced. <laughs> so weird. That is weird. <laughs> What's weirder? Robert, actually, no, I, I think I know the answer. What's weirder? Robert Evans producing Popeye or Francis Ford Coppola oh, directing that's Jack? Bizarre. That was the weird <laughs> one. Was very so bizarre. weird. <laughs> oh, and the other thing I want to bring up, uh, da, 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 what else was there? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, funny uh, movie you actually... Uh, brought up and referenced earlier today and sho- shoved the cover in my face. Undercover <laughs> Brother? No. no. <laughs> uh, Capote oh. was one of the films in Born in the Born USA. Ah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, this can be thrown out now. All right, Brett. Right. I, have, I have my next record in the works. I have. Do you, dare you tell us the next record? Uh, dare you no, because then we can do research. The, I guess we could do research. I Although we'd have to figure out what the categories are based on the yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Some might be obvious, some might be not. Because well, we like, I don't think we would have got Robert Evans from Bobby Jean. <laughs> no. No. Um, How about the artist and not the album? The record... Uh, uh, it's pretty obvious. Yeah? It's like we only have... Well, no, they got... Other, okay. The artist is the greatest punk band of all time, as far as I'm concerned. And I have a tattoo of theirs on my ankle. So, that will tell you that. We can move on. Do we say anything more? Do we, people, only people who have seen your ankle tattoo? Only people who know Dan get that. No, so don't tell them. We want the rest of the people to be surprised. Okay. There you go. Okay, so I guess I get to host now. So... Uh, we'll do a very speedy round. Dan is clear, and for the record, Dan is wrong about them being the greatest punk band of all time because they are not exclusively white. 
and punk is white. Anyways, we'll do a very fast round of build title here. I actually have uh, categories this time, very so good. they work. This was our downfall in every previous round of build title. Although they're, we have got some good ones. They're in fact exclusively not white, so <laughs> one of their one of their many problems. Um, okay, we will go with the starting film will be Air Force One. Yeah, that's a good. Air and One are both yeah. got several simple enough. Who starts? Uh, let's go with Danny to start. And we're just doing one, right? We're not doing. We're just yeah, we're just doing one, one okay. all yeah. the way through. So you know well, it works. Do, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Con Air Force One. That is exactly what I wrote down as my one example. Yes. Uh, does anything end in con? I got stuff with one, but you know, let's, let's make it a challenge. <laughs> um. American <laughs> Comic Con uh, James Con James Con Was there a movie called James Con? Um hmm. King Con King Con Uh what if there's a movie called The Long Con? I feel like there might be. Probably like a sixties movie called The Long Con or something. But uh you can look it up. I'll I'll do it if it is. If but if I I won't uh, lock it in because I got a, several I could use for one. Are you looking it up or are you? Yeah, it's nothing. Right? It's nothing. All right. It's nothing. Um, making it up. Uh, again, I could say one flavor is the cuckoo's nest, but I feel like the nest doesn't uh, give you much. And I actually like longer titles more than winning in this game. Yeah. Um, one. No, there's two for the money. Is there one for the money? There must be a movie called One for the Money. I feel like I'm Graham Elwooding this thing. Yeah, you are Graham Elwooding it. So. <laughs> one floor of the Cougar's Nest. Oh, you are... You are a son of a bitch. There's so many ones. Con Air Force One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Yeah. That's what I'm off with? Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. Nest. Now let's see if I can actually spell cuckoo correctly and not spell... Oh, man, you did cuckoo. the weirdest things. <laughs> oh, nest. What do we got for nest? Now I'm uncertain on how to spell it. I bet you are. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> I don't know what to do for this. Ah, that's how I would have spelled it. Ah, shit, there's a C in it. <laughs> okay, what do we got for con? There should be something for con. And I apologize for the cuckoo's nest. I, there's a bunch of them. I think I only had, I be had one for stuff. con, but I can't remember if I... Couldn't think of much. One... Uh, oh man. I don't know. Shy of coming up with some magical pun. I don't know what. Uh, yeah. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. Nest. Est. Est. Estrogen. Est. Okay, that one. That one, I think. I'm. I'm oh, yeah, I'm I think. Stumped. I think Dan's out. Let, let's. Let's. We'll do a second round here. I got a bunch written down, so let's go with. Uh, what were some better things to start with? One I could have used. I really couldn't think of. Uh, one eighty McCool's. I don't know how much you can do with McCool's. Cool. Yeah, McCool's. I guess it's true. Not much. Um, one, one hour photo. One hour photo. You could do something with. Yes. One week. One week. It's a thing. Joshua Jackson. He does stuff. All right. He drives his motorcycle. I'll take your word for it. Uh, okay. The, we'll start with another one. We'll do, uh, let's do Black Dynamite. A black exploitation movie made in 2009. Black Dynamite Joe Young. That is exactly what I wrote down, too. Very good. Meet Joe Black Dynamite Joe Young. <laughs> Meet Joe Black Dynamite Joe Young People Fucking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I wanted to see that movie. I never did. I, I also never did. I'm I starting a movie. I think I own it. Fucking, though, is. Oh, oh, I got it. <laughs> There's stuff you can do. Uh, okay. Meet Joe Black Dynamite Joe Young People Fucking Kong. <laughs> I was going to go fucking's speech. <laughs> ah, <laughs> good. 
<laughs> I got. I know exactly what you're gonna say. Does it involve adding one letter? Yes. <laughs> blah blah blah. Congo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, I've got one, but I, I, it involves adding zero letters, so I don't think it works. Just say it, go exclamation mark. The movie Go. Yeah. With Sarah yeah. Pauly. No, you got to you got to add some. Okay. Because uh, in other words, you can just do a continuous loop of Go and no yeah, we can just keep doing Go. Um, Meat, right? Um, meat. Um, shit. Um, uh, you can end with me as well. Okay. Uh, fuck. I got one for that. I got one too. No pressure. <laughs> See, I just thought of something that I think I just made up. It's the name of a song, but like, yeah, they must have made a movie. And that's the thing. This. Like, it's a phrase. Like, all mo- all phrases have been a movie at some point, right? Yep. You give me a countdown because I'm there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Buzz. What would you have added? I would have added all of me. Oh, I would have stand by me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And for Congo, I would have got. I would have got. There's got to be something that starts with going the distance. Sure. Uh, Oh, is that the Canadian? No, it was the one like Jason Judakis and uh, Justin Long, Long and uh, Drew Barrymore. Uh, yeah, and uh, Charlie Day. Yeah, it was terrible. Didn't say it looked like a bad romance. I was thinking Go West and Going Going Gone. I don't know if either of those things are movies. I don't think they I don't are. Think they are. Okay, so let's keep the ball rolling here. Uh, <clears throat> so it's going to Scott. It is. Okay, would you like a movie? That I would. Oh, there's more to that. There's question. more to that question. Okay. Would you like a movie? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, a movie where the protagonist dies. Oh, so sad. Um, so sad category. Uh, the last movie by a big actor, someone who's considered a, a last one movie. of the great, like last movie before they die. Sorry. That's sad too. That's sad too. I'm going with Heartbreakers. Give here. me a half a category. I will give you another I'm sad category. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Uh, another so sad category. Kill him to foe. Movies where Will him to foe dies. <sighs> all sad movies. Kill him to foe. Kill him to foe? Because it's only one specific person. Not yeah. all protagonists are all great actors. Okay, do you want 1997, uh, 2010, or 2009? You asshole. You didn't give me the year that I wanted. <laughs> now I don't know what to do with this information. Fuck. <laughs> Couldn't you give me 1999 like a gentleman? I'm sorry, my friend. Do you have 1999 on there? Uh, I don't. Well, then I don't know what you're even doing with this goddamn thing. I'm making category. it. I'm making it uh, tougher. Uh, 97. 1997. Okay. It is a bomb. Yikes. Uh. Okay. It is. Uh, mind-numbingly stupid action yarn opens with a chase scene that makes no sense <laughs> and never improves. Love it. Um, the main actress whose character is essentially, or especially annoying, um, did anyone read the script before signing on for this? <laughs> and there are... Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve actors. Hmm. I'm gonna say twelve. Eleven. Name it. <laughs> All but the main actor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Do you need the? You don't need the hints again, do you? No. Okay. The the ten of eleven actors. Tim Conway. I thought it was eleven to twelve. Or eleven to twelve. My bad. Tim Conway, Glenn Plummer, Bo Spenson, Jeremy Hotz. Uh, Lois Chilis, Colleen Camp, Christine Firkins, Brian McCarty, Tamara Morris, Willem Dafoe, Jason Patrick. He is from NARC. He is, uh... Oh, I know the answer. I, w- I was going to give an example of what Jason Patrick is from, and I'm like, oh, that's, that's the, answer the answer to this. Yeah. I have zero ideas, so... Can I take a guess at the lead actress? Yes. Uh, you're officially... I'm done, I'm done. You get the point. Sandra Bullock. 
What is the movie title? Speed 2. Boats on a plane. <laughs> not, not quite. Snakes on a boat. Boat, boat justice. Under siege, speed 2, Under Siege 2, Dark Territory. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're so close. close. Under Siege 2 is on a train, not on a boat. You are I know, so close that's to this the irony. <laughs> It is Speed 2 Cruise Control. Because ah, she is on a Caribbean cruise. Not Boat Justice. <laughs> I, boat, I like Boat Justice. Hey, you and me both. Somebody write this, please. <laughs> Dear God, write that movie. So, one nothing for Scott. Um, Scott told and Dan Scott to picks again. So Scott picks again. Okay, would you like... Um, uh, okay, let's go. House of Pain, the movies of Alexander Payne. Okay. Uh, would you like uh, Gone Too Soon? Another sad category, uh, which is movies where the main or one of the main actors died before the movie was released. Okay. Uh, and let's go Academy Award winners for Best Actor 1990 to 2000. That one. I'm not going to let you pick a year, I'm just going to pick one. I call bullshit. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, man. I did not tell you. Even my opponent disapproves of this tactic. Um, okay, the movie is from 1991, so it would have won for 1992. So that's how it works. Yeah. I was kind of hoping for later 90s. It is three and a half stars. I wholeheartedly agree. It should have been four. Possibly five. Uh, let's see. Um, based on a best-selling novel, um, geez, I can't really, it's very short and a lot of it gives away, the, Oscar winner for best picture, actor, actress, director, best adapted screenplay, um, followed by sequels. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oh, I think I wrote that down, actually. Yeah. Twelve. I didn't need to read the fucking thing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you got it. Uh, what are the things that won Oscars for? Uh, act, uh, picture, actor, actress, director, and best adapted screenplay. Uh, interesting. I feel like this is a go big or go home situation. So I will say zero. Daniel, to you. Ninety-one. Three stars. I'm trying to think of the Academy Award winners, which I'm pretty sure you know the list. You know them all, going back for the last twenty years or so. Decently, but not best perfectly. Picture. Best Picture ninety-two is the clue. I don't think it was that that came out the year before. Or one the year before, I'm pretty sure. No, that was that. Time to shit or get off the crapper, Dan. Name it. Unforgiven. That's what I was thinking. Uh, would it help you if I said the best actor was Sir Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. What movie am I talking of? Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. Oh, yeah. So it won at the 92. I said it was 91, and it won at 92. I could have sworn Unforgiven won at 92, but... Unforgiven would have been 93, because the movie was 92. Yeah. Yeah, look sure. one up. I did, I did. For, I did say that. I said it was ninety one. Yeah, no, 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 you, you, did, did, you, you did. didn't. You didn't do anything wrong. I just, yeah, it was. It was ninety two. I just had in my head that Unforgiven won at the ninety two Oscars. But well, it, uh, it was made at ninety two. Yeah. It, it didn't win Best Actor though. Unforgiven. No, I was, I, that's what was thrown up was the acting Oscars. Something. It was Best Picture, Best Director, Best Supporting Actor yeah. for Gene Hackman, and Best Film Editing. Unfor, Unforgiven, I know, got Picture and Director, but I don't think it got any actors and. Uh, threw me off, but... Okay, right. That's why it threw me off. Point to this guy. Point to Dan. Okay, so... I get to choose, because I told you the name, right? Yep. yep. Cool. Daniel, would you like... I'm going to just flip back here. Uh, uh, 
Hmm. Okay, um, Mock the Casbah, which is uh, mockumentaries. Okay. Um, I'm running, man, uh, which is movies where somebody runs for president. Yeah. Or um, All Bombs. Which is a movie that Leonard gave a bomb rating to. There's a movie that I'm hoping comes up in the category I'm going to choose. You better not just pick the movie like you... I only didn't do, do Best Picture because that way you can like think of which one you want, right? Fair like, enough. Because uh, you already know. I'm it. running, man. Sweet. 2004, 2008, 2006. Not what I was hoping. You think you have a 90s? Yes. If it's the 90s, it's probably on the list. Okay. But I didn't choose it because I didn't think that. Oh four, oh six, oh eight. Yeah. Who ran for president in those? It wasn't a movie. It was the actual president. Oh, I have no idea. Two thousand six. Two thousand six. I think I had stopped watching movies at that point. So. Well, then why are you two thousand four? Your movies were done. Yes. Two stars. It's okay. I agree with it, I guess. Um, okay, a muddled mess of a movie tries to be topical, funny, suspenseful, and romantic. It's scattered, sharply, f- sh- scattered, sharp, funny moments can't salvage uh, the writer slash director's unwieldy screenplay. Hmm. Uh, various TV personalities and political. Politicals. That's not what I'm trying to read here. What is happening to you? <laughs> Political people appear as themselves. Politicians? It doesn't say politicians. Okay. Politicios? Politicos? Politicos? Yeah. Okay, there you go. And there is seven names. Politicos appearing as themselves. 2006, two stars. He didn't like it very much, but he still gets two stars because that's just kind of yeah. what he does. Sometimes it, it, sometimes it's shit all over something. It's like two stars, average. <laughs> sometimes Razzie's Razzie winners get two stars. Yes. So he's not. Really sometimes you don't mess with the Zohan gets two stars. <laughs> Let's really. go seven. Seven names. Seven seven. Cease. Six. Five. Name it. Five. All but two. Okay. Your names are David Alplay, Rick Roberts, Jeff Goldblum, Lewis Black. And Christopher Walken. These are names I know. It is a mess of a yep. movie. Tries to be topical, funny, suspenseful, and romantic. Uh, lots of TV personalities and political bullshit people appear as themselves. Two stars, doesn't six. Do you know it? Someone yep. runs for president. <laughs> so <laughs> was, it, was it one name that gave it to, to you? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. I assume so. I'm not saying who, though. No, I, yeah, I wouldn't say who either. I'm sure I have heard of this movie. You have. I probably haven't seen it. You haven't. <laughs> Are you sure he hasn't? Yeah. Yeah, I'm for sure he hasn't. Uh, that would that'd be, uh, I give up. The top two build are Laura Linney and Robin, Robin Williams. Williams. Louis Black gave it away. Man, Man of, of the, the year. year. Oh, yeah. Where he plays a John Stewart, Stephen Colbert-esque yeah. who runs esque for- guy yeah. who runs for president. Kind of forced to run for president. I haven't seen it. It's okay. I vaguely recall it. It's not, it's not great. It's okay. I saw like half of it on TV. That was, so that was enough. That is 2 1 for Scott. So, uh, you told Dan. So I'm picking. So you're yeah. picking. Okay. Requiem for a Bean. Movies where Sean Bean dies. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of those. You've got morbid categories. I do, I do. Uh, Twoop Relief. Pooping, the act of tweeting while pooping. We have... So it's a movie where somebody has a conversation while someone is pooing. On a toilet. We've already done the one one. I have picked for that category, that being Dumb and Dumber. And uh, let's go way back to the beginning here, and we'll go with uh, movies that part of or all of the movie is set in Mexico. Hmm. So Mexico... Would you like 2000, 2004, 2007? Um, seven. Seven. Three and a half stars, 13 actors. 
Uh, let's see what he's got here. Uh, it's an, an adaptation of a novel. Uh, it's a brooding tale of fate set against a stark backdrop, but not without irony and humor. Uh, it won Oscars for Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Adapted Screenplay. And there, yeah, and there's, uh, what did I say? Thirteen? Mm-hmm. Thirteen. Thirteen! One for Best Picture? Yeah, so it says. Picture, director, adapted screenplay, and then, uh, supporting actor. Takes place in Mexico. Part of. Part of. Or all of the movies in Mexico. Fuck. I thought you would have taken 2000. I thought 2000 was pretty... I think I know 2000. Obvious. I think I know 2000. Oh. <laughs> oh! How many actors? 13. 13. Most of the winners, I can't picture a lot that happened part or all in Mexico. Okay, here your names are. I don't know that they help you. Gene Jones, Beth Grant, Ann Reeder, Roger Boyce, Stephen Root, uh, Barry Corbin, Tess Harper, Garrett Dillahunt. Yeah. Those are how many? So what the? Fuck one best picture in 2000. The only one you knew was Stephen Root. Yeah. The rest of those people are nobodies. Stephen Root gave it to me, and I'm mad at myself for not getting it earlier. Yeah, what the fuck, man? I know, I'm back. I'm I back. Don't, I don't I'm back. I'm, I'm, you know what? Realistically, top three would have helped. Anything below that uh, could have been a I'm shot sure I know the movie. Yeah. I'm sure I didn't see the movie. You know what? You I actually don't know one way or another if you've seen it. You could have. You probably. I think he's probably seen it. You're more likely to have seen it than Man of the Year. <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm <laughs> the only one that saw Man of the Year here. I'm ashamed of that. Because we're in 2012. Fact. <laughs> 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 okay, so I know one this year, I know one last year. I'm surprised you didn't get it on Best Picture. I had to think about it, but I'm, I'm with you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I just learned something about this movie. God damn it. Oh, fuck. The, the dogs don't lay eggs? <laughs> 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 yes. No, the, the top, like, the first line there. Oh, God, it's going to bother me. I don't want to lose. Oh, like that. I didn't realize that that was what the time frame was. I can't remember if it says it. I don't, I don't remember. I guess now looking back at it, I should have figured that out. Actually, it doesn't matter that much. No, 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 not at all. But yeah. I just didn't know that that was... Yeah, I, yeah offhand, I, I, if you would ask me, I don't think I would have said yeah, that. Yeah, I assumed that it was set into like, the current... Yeah, I probably would have said present, yeah. But I guess it makes sense. This all rings very close. <laughs> Okay, Dan, what, 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 do you, what do you got? You got nothing? No, you, I keep, you, I'm, I'm thinking of, think? like, what's, like, 2000... I'm thinking earlier than that. I don't know. Uh, I give up. You, okay, I'll, I'll read top four and see if you. I don't know. Woody Harrelson, Josh this, Brolin. This is going up. Yeah, it's going up. Woody Harrelson, Josh Brolin, Javier Bardem, Tommy Lee Jones. Jones. No, I didn't see it. Should have been a four. You know what? This one should have been a five. If, if Leonard broke his rule, <laughs> yeah. it should be this one. What do you get? A three and a half? Three and a half. Yeah, it should be four. It's pretty the great. movie is directed by Joel and Ethan Cohen, and it is No Country for Old, Old Men. Yeah. Well, what was fucking me up was, is it was 2007, so I'm thinking about one in 2000. Cause I, I, I'm a year back on all my best pictures because I have the year the movie was made in my head for all of them and not the you Oscar it year it won. Because I'm thinking 2008, Slumdog Millionaire wasn't in Mexico. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so, I that one. There you go. 
So, uh, I, I suck today. You just I still don't suck as much as Chewie does, though, with his thunder thighs. <laughs> <laughs> you were really giving it to the poor guy. Well, he's not here. Well, he's not here, so I guess that's motivation to be here. And he's not going to listen to it either, so... And Kelly... Well, he's actually, actually, I know what he's doing tonight. I, I just remember what his plans are. He is watching The Dark Knight Rises for the second time, this time in IMAX. Because you get because some things happen on the sides that, of the screen that you mm. miss in the uh, regular screen. Well, and while Kelly's not here, your shoulder hair grosses me out. <laughs> <laughs> Trim that shit. <laughs> so that being said, this went entirely too long. I should have left 50 minutes ago. Well, it we, went less. We than talked less too long about Birdemic. We did not need to talk 25 minutes about Birdemic. Well, it was, it was longer that we didn't start playing games until like the 45, 45 minute mark. Yeah. So. I don't know, we, we covered two fairly disparate movies, Birdemic and The Dark Knight Rises. There you go. <laughs> so, interesting. But, yeah, anyone have anything to plug? I will plug my Twitter. I've actually got some new followers that I, people uh, that were just random people add me. So, nice. Uh, at Drew Sarian, and then from there you can go to my blogs and see how I attempted to review... Uh, lottery ticket higher than Goodfellas. <laughs> Couldn't quite do it. Couldn't do it, but I tried. Yeah, and admirable. Dan, anything to... I actually have lots of things to plug. Plug it up. No, none of them are movie or wrestling or whatever related. They're they all be. music related. Music it up. Uh, my blog, danielgoestocollege.blogspot.com, uh, has nothing to do with me going to college, nor has anything to do with anything current, because I... Nor has been updated since December 2010. Uh, January 2011. Okay. Um, uh, but once I get the internet, it will be updated again. I do have my 2011, uh, uh, mixtape to finally get released eight months late. <laughs> uh, more importantly, if you live in the Vancouver area or will be in the Vancouver area for Labor Day weekend for I Suck Sticks vs. The World, also known as Big Dick Wrestling Universe, uh, one of my bands, because I'm in seven, or two. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I don't think that's right. At least <laughs> not. Two, per, potentially four. Uh, one of those bands, uh, called No Comely, will be playing their first show August 30th at the Zoo Shop. And that's spelled N-O space C-O-M-E comma L-E-E? -E? No. <laughs> C-O-M-E. No Comely. C-O-M-E-L-Y. Uh, we'll be playing our first show August 30th at the Zoo Shop, which is on the corner of Maine and Powell. Oh, a terrible place! <laughs> awful neighborhood, but it's a it's a fun venue. It's in the back room of a record store. Uh, it's going to be maybe $5 or $7. A lot of people will be there from England and wherever. Come and watch us play music. And that is all I have. Good plugs. Probably probably the best, best plugs, because they were actually like... They were real plugs. And stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. They were real, like, come see me. Yeah. I don't have Twitter. I'm, I'm not on Twitter. Not, I'm not on Twitter, guys. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm not in a band. Uh, you so don't blog about movies. I don't blog about movies, so I guess just uh, go to facebook.com slash I hate Scott Henson, and uh, once or twice a week I post a line that I think is funny. <laughs> and, <laughs> and hopefully you will, too. Um, is that nothing you want to plug? Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these jokes are endless. Did we get to the other joke we always make? Oh, no, no, the other joke was uh, how great of a movie Chud is. Oh, why did I ask? We could have finished without, talking, without saying Chud. Chud. <laughs> and again. It's so good, I said it twice. Well, we'll try it for episode six, not saying Chud. Hopefully Drew will forget about it by then. This episode will be released in two parts, because no one's going to listen to two hours at once. Just just record one using my phone without me. Then you won't have to hear Chud. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so I think that's good. Uh, so until next time... As usual, Mila Jovovich Euro Trash is a shit. <laughs> Uh, the douchebag who decided to have a nap on my shoulder as I was reading the newest Wrestling Observer on the bus ride home today. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> and, as always, Batman's voice is a shithead. Where's Rachel?